This is Pinion reporting live from Mesa, Arizona, with some exciting news. Below and to my left, we're fixing to open the first production Gowie X7 in the United States. Behind me, the great one, J.C. Zanko. Hello, J.C. How How's are you doing today? Opinion? Are you excited, my friend? I'm extremely excited. I'm very excited to see what's inside this box. Me too. Yes, now, Jack's here, is he not? Jack Let's bring Jack here. around here. Jack, come on the in power here. behind the throne. Oh. Yes. <sighs> yes, Jack. First one. Right. Yes, isn't this wonderful, my friend? It yeah, is. Very excited. We, we also have a uh, some libation over to the left there, some celebratory uh, drink there. It looks like it's uh, something from the CIA. They blacked out the front of the label. Like, that's all about. But uh, we're going to open this baby up. Uh, now, when, does, when will this be available, uh, uh, J.C., for, for shipping? February 8th. It'll be uh, ready to ship February 8th. So, so you'll be able to watch this video and uh, really enjoy what's uh, in the box. You'll give an idea of what's uh, coming, but you cannot get it until February 8th, my friend. Teaser. Teaser. Yeah, so Penny is going to fondle it for you. <laughs> okay, my friend, let's go ahead and release some of that Taiwanese air that's trapped in this box. <laughs> we yes. let J.C. do it. Yeah. Plastic still on. I know there's some gally goodness in this box, baby. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh yes, the champagne's <laughs> open. Yes, we're popping the cork. The screws off. Try to take that thing and die. Yes. Now this is the Club Artist version of the X7. Uh, now this kit uh, will have the motor and the SC, correct? This one is the Super Combo A. It uh, comes with motor, blades, and tail blades. Motor, blades, and tail blades. Okay. Oh, yes. I'm starting to be pinion over it. Yes. Yes. Behold the goodness. Yes, package just like you'd expect. Gowie packaging is always amazing. Got the, uh, got the instruction manual? Yes. Uh, let's see. Okay, which box are we going to take out first, my friend? We're going to take out the tail boom. The tail boom. Got the tail now, you never even unbox one. Your no, model comes over the, <laughs> not in a box like this for sure, right? When Absolutely. You're doing the testing. Absolutely, no. Yes. Oh, yes, pinion's getting high over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, off the fumes. Yes. <laughs> We've got the canopy. Okay, got the canopy box. This is the uh, the blades. Yes. Now these are what size are these blades? Uh, I believe these are seven hundred millimeter. Seven hundred millimeter blades. Yes. Uh, this looks like the uh, motor set. Yes. And the rotor head. And the rotor head. And then we have yes down in the bottom of the frame section. The carbon goodness. Yes. And don't forget the uh, servo wheels in the yeah, bottom. Those are very beefy <laughs> servo wheels too, my friend. Yes. Okay, well, let's start pulling stuff out of these boxes. Penny is very excited. All right. Yes. We'll, we'll uh, get everything out of the boxes, kind of get the uh, individual uh, envelopes if they were, as they were uh, laid out, and then we'll open them up and take a look at what's in there. Yes, okay, there's the... Uh, nice set of main blades. Yes, those blades look good. That's nice. Yes, and I like the blade holder as well. Tail boom. Yes. Along with the skid pipes, boom supports are also in there, along with the tail rotor push rod. Yes, um, ready to go. And torque tube. Is in torque there tube driven. Yes. We'll be belt free, baby. Oh, now that canopy looks very nice. Notice the uh, canopy condom. Yes. Let's try it out. Try it out. All right. Jack, you go ahead and open that. that. Ah. I'm looking through, the, uh, looking through the plastic there and everything. I think that canopy's a little bit different than the one you've been flying. Uh, that one, I believe, is not. Okay. I think it's about the there same. There is a new canopy that is uh, coming out along with the new set of skids. Yeah. So, let's take a look at the motor here. This is the yes, I can snip, smell sniff. the quality in that box. <laughs> yeah. No humping. Down. Down. Yes, yes. Scorpion power. This bad boy is going to rock. It's the uh, 500 kV motor. Yeah. Now, does this come with a pinion? Ah. Yeah. Yes, it does. All there right. Ten tooth? Ten tooth pinion. Ten tooth pinion. That's going to be a real stunt puller. <laughs> You're yes. going to count? <laughs> okay. And it's going to Pretty be a sure. stunt puller. Uh, yes, you're seeing this app. first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, this is the first X7 production model to be unboxed. So we're just as surprised when we see what's in the box as you do, as you are. Yes. There you go. 
nice. Like the landing gear. Landing gear? I like the condom, man. That thing is nice. It doubles his headwear when you get yeah. cold. 1.2 mod on the main gear. That's a beefy right. gear, my friend. One mod on the crown gear, so it's really beefy. Rotor head pack, along with the swash plate, main shaft. And typical Gowie, lots of metal in the model. Lots like of, lots yes. of metal. We gotta have metal. No plastic for pinion. The, uh, the inner frame workings. Yes. And one beefy tail gearbox. Oh, I like that tail gearbox, my friend. That looks like that's pinion proof. It's, uh, very beefy. <laughs> it be very hard for pinion to break that. I've tried. Yes, okay, well now we'll start to take everything out of the bags. What do you think? Spread it out so everybody that's, can see the goodness? Is that that's okay, what boss man? Has to do. Yes, we're going to tease you with this uh, Gowie X7. You can look at it, but you cannot touch. Okay. Yes. Well, where should we start? Let's start with the, uh, the tail gearbox here. Yes, the tail gearbox. Sorry about my booze being in the way. <laughs> Yes, we this up. yes, my friend. I've already had a couple of snorts of that bad boy. Then you start to feel a little woozy. What do you think of that? Oh, you can smell the galley quality. Yes. Beefy, uh... Yes, the gears, you can tell the gears back there. Very, very uh, large gear. So it's not going to break very easily, I don't think. It won't be stripping very easily. Yes. Pinion likes that a lot. We have all CNC tail blade grips. Once again, metal. Pinion likes metal. Not heavy metal. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's very nice. Very nice. All CNC tail pitch slider? Yes, the pitch slider looks good, my friend. That's the tail pitch arm. We're not going to pull that out. A yeah, there's a lot of little screws there. We wouldn't want to lose there. that. Notice each bag is uh, individually marked and individually numbered. Individually marked and numbered. Yes. Got a real beefy uh, main shaft collar. That's a single piece, very uh, bulletproof, so yeah, to speak. That's about twice the size of you see on most helicopters. Yes. Look at that swash. The swash plate is also very beefy. Yes. I like that a lot. Here's the. Oh, look at that. Gowie X7 on the retaining collar. That's a very nice touch. Main shaft? Yes, that thing looks like it's a half inch in diameter. And that's a big beefy one. Blade grips. And then yes, the rotor. Those are very nice as well. Pitch links. And notice these. I are like the fact that, that you know the names of all the parts. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, these are turnbuckles. They're actually turnbuckles. So, uh, wow, that's a Makes it a little well. easier, nicer, finer to tune. Uh, Sure, then lose like a thin wire. Yes. Yep, yep. Okay, and I'm looking over at the main gear, and I see the gear on top. What is that the, called? The crown gear? Crown gear, yep. Crown that's, gear. Yeah, that's how we'll drive the tail in this baby. Yes, and uh, it's. We really haven't had any issues stripping the crown gear. Everybody's concern was uh, the major crown gear uh, no. upon that's pre release, but haven't had any issues out of the crown gear hardly at all. So yeah, well, it looks very beefy. Very the whole gear looks very beefy. Yes. And I see you have the shims there in case you yep. need to adjust fine, it just a little bit. Tuned. Yes. Spindle shaft. Spindle shaft. Huge thrust bearings. Now see, this is a nice touch. Uh, that way you don't have to take it apart. Uh, it's already ready for you to put together. Yep. So make sure it's put together right the first time yourself. Some more shims. Uh, fine tune the, uh, the play in the head. Yes. Well, the kit looks amazing. So now where's the frame hats? <laughs> Benny wants to see the frames. Yeah, so it's on a piece of cardboard. Look at that. Jack, do you want to move some of that stuff sure. on? Yeah. What's not to like here so far? Yeah, this is, looks very nice. It's very well packaged. Yes. Yeah. Lots of carbon. Lots yeah, nice of carbon. carbon and metal. No plastic. Yeah. So we've got the, the tail fin. Yes. The center base plate. Uh, batteries go right up underneath. Yeah, and I see they have like the little lock nuts in there already for the servos and such. Yeah. Yes, that's a very nice touch. Very thick too. Center, center plate. Yes. Now the X7 frame is going to be very narrow, right? So that it's should make it very strong. Narrow. It's about an inch, uh, inch wide, so it's very robust. It's very yes, sturdy. robust. I like that. <laughs> yes. These are. The back of the frame. Yes. 
You've got to like this. This is very nice. Binion's excited. Uh, these are, you don't have to use these, but it uh, makes it nice if you have multiple sets of batteries to uh, pop on and off the, the battery. Oh, I see. Yes. Um, a lot of people really just maybe mount uh, the Velcro here, so it's optional. You don't really have to use it, but a lot of people want the option. So. Yes. Well, the kit looks amazing. And... This is the upper frame. Yes. I can smell the galley goodness. <laughs> yes. This looks really nice, JC. You guys have done an excellent job here. I Thank think you. this is going to be a fantastic kit. I think anybody that's thinking about the X7, uh, now you can see the quality of the parts. Uh, you can feel very confident if you can get your hands on one uh, <laughs> that it's going to be a nice build uh, with quality parts. And uh, we've already seen JC fly the pants off these things, so we know they fly well. So uh, I know you guys are excited about getting it out uh, next month, and I think the guys out there are going to really enjoy flying this baby. I think so. It's going to be fun. Be looking for it in stores February 8th. Yes, it's going to rock. This is Pinion talking to J.C. Zankel about the new Gowie X7. We're in Mesa, Arizona. Out.